Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing awesome. I am here to do a quick little yes or no question. So, um, well, a yes or no, pick a card. This is gonna be very quick, so I want you to go ahead and meditate. Um, take a few deep breaths and choose one pile. I would say one pile, please don't pick two because the answer might contradict <laughs> each other. So with this, really choose one. All right, choose one. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Okay, so those of you who chose the rainbow, pile one, rainbow, your answer is no. You have a no right here. And we also have a little angel message attached to it. It says, angels are sending you messages in dreams. So pay attention to your um, dreams. They're trying to let you know why this is a no through your dreams, okay? So angels are sending you messages through your dreams. Okay. All right, if you chose the sun, pile two. Let's see. Ah. You have within the next few weeks. Within the next few weeks. And your little angel message. I can pick the freaking thing up with these nails. This is so crazy. It says, be receptive to your incoming abundance. Be receptive to your incoming abundance. Okay. Thank you, pile two. If you chose pile three, the lion, I keep getting, uh, the spirit says, you're gonna hear me roar <laughs> with pile three. It says, listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Ah, I keep having problems with picking this up. Be patient. Listen to your intuition and be patient. That's for pile three. For pile four, if you chose the unicorn, you have unlikely and don't doubt your decision okay so something is unlikely to occur but they want you to not not to doubt your decision around your answer if that makes any sense something about not doubting your decision okay if you chose pile five the owl the owl. We have in the near future, that's your answer, in the near future, not the right time. So I'm getting that this is actually a yes, but it's not occurring when you want it to occur. They're saying right now is the not, not the right time at this very moment, but in the near future, yes. Okay, so very soon. Michael, can you stop doing that, baby? Let's not play with the bag. Mm. Yeah, let's not play with the bag. It... Okay. If you chose pile six, the cupcake. This is six, right? Pile six, the cupcake. Okay. It's up to you. That's simple. They're saying it's up to you. It's so classic. All right, pile six. If you chose seven, the frog. If you chose seven, the frog. Your message is yes, a big yes. Oh, a and it says practice mindfulness, be patient for answers. They want you to practice mindfulness. Be present. I said patient. Be present for answers. It's a yes. Hmm? Be present. Okay, baby. If you chose 
the last one, which is the fox. The fox. I think he looks so cute. He chose the fox. Here, my son wants to see the fox. Sorry, guys. Here. Okay. If you chose the fox, it says peaceful resolution. And it says, be careful who you are letting in. So this question, I mean, what this is trying to tell you is that something's going to reach like a natural conclusion to whatever you're asking about. Um, something about a natural, peaceful resolution. Like a, like the, this card reminds me of the world. Anytime I pull it for myself, kind of like the world. It's going to, it's going to reach a natural conclusion. Okay. And we also have be careful who you are letting in. So really be careful who you're telling things to, um, giving information to, or who you're letting in your space right now. All right. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick pick a card. I think these are kind of fun. Love you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.